Hi, my name is John Alzheimer, and I'm a credit expert who contributes to CreditCardInsider.com. And today's question is this. I'm looking for a credit card, and I'm trying to choose the better of two options. Should I get a store credit card or a general-use credit card with a rewards program? Excellent question. Tons of options out there for plastic, um, and a lot of questions as to whether or not I should be getting retail store credit cards, you know, the cards that have a store branded on them or a general use credit card, something like a, um, a Discover card, which can be used pretty much anywhere. My answer to the question, I, and, and this is my own personal opinion, I don't think retail store credit cards are very good at all, and here's why. If I were to ask you to close your eyes and let me explain to you the terms of a retail store credit card, you would actually think that I was explaining the terms of a subprime credit card. Very low credit limits, in many cases less than less than $1,000 when you initially open the account. Very high interest rates. In almost all cases, the interest rates are well into the 20% range. Those types of terms are always reserved for people who have bad credit. Nobody in their right mind would ever apply for a general use credit card like a Visa or a Discover and say, hey, $1,000 credit limit and 29% interest rate. What a great deal. That's a horrible deal. But in the retail store credit card world, we almost always accept those, regardless of how good our credit is, because it's almost always one size fits all pricing, and never really make any noise about it. So I don't like retail store cards just for that reason alone, that they essentially treat everybody like a subprime borrower, even though I would imagine the majority of their clients actually have good credit, because most of the people in this country have good credit. The problem also with retail store cards is that they they tend to snowball, meaning that if you have one at the Gap, then you think you need one at Macy's, and you may need you think you need one at Crate and Barrel, and all of a sudden you have a wallet full of credit cards, one per store, and you think that you have when you go to those stores you have to use that card at the store, and you end up polluting your credit report with tons of what I call nuisance balances across all these little cards, small balances because you're only buying one or two things a month at the different store. And you've got to write multiple checks or pay multiple cards off every single month. It's just a royal pain. And having so many accounts with balances on your credit reports can actually lower your scores. This is one of the areas of credit scoring that most people are uneducated about is that your credit score can actually be negatively influenced because you just have a lot of accounts with balances, even if they're paid on time and even if those balances are relatively low. So... One way to eliminate that problem is to use a general use credit card rather than a bunch of retail store cards because I guarantee you this, if you walk into Macy's, The Gap, or Crate and Barrel, you can use a Visa or a MasterCard or an Amex at every single one of those stores and not have to pull out a different card every, sing every time you walk into a different store. Also, the credit limits on general use cards are almost, in many cases, 15 to 20 times higher than those of a retail store card. $15,000, $20,000, $30,000 is not an uncommon credit limit on a general use credit card. So you have much more buying power and any balance you incur is gonna be very low relative to the limit, which is actually a good way to protect your credit scores. And finally, the interest rates on general use credit cards are almost always very, not very low relative to mortgages, for example, but always very low relative to other retail store cards. In the retail card world, again, 20 plus. In the general use credit card world, you could actually find cards, in many cases issued by credit unions, that have interest rates that are below 10 if you have good credit. Um, the average interest rate on those cards tends to be about 15 to 16 percent, depending on who you believe, which again is not good relative to say 0 percent on an auto loan or 3.5 percent on a mortgage, but it's a whole heck of a lot better than 29 percent that you may be paying on a retail store card. So in my mind, 10 times out of 10, I'm going to choose the general use card over the retail store card, um, and notwithstanding the fact that I'm probably going to get a much better rewards program on a general use card anyways. Uh, if you have any other questions pertaining to credit or financial topics, then please submit them to creditcardinsider.com or in the comment section below. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.